Hey everybody, I wanted to spend some time today going through a recent forum post and talking about a technique that I use that I think can really help you simplify some complex DAX in certain situations and just really kind of clarify some conditional statements and provide some flexibility in the way that you deal with um, with variables and conditionals. Um, so this was based on a question from member Harvey and what he was looking to do was combine a Pareto analysis with an additional criteria. So in this case, what he wanted to do was to look at the top 20% of sales rank and also the intersection of that with products that had margins over a certain percent. So what I did was built out a, a draft solution for him. And it had a series of sliders, one for sales rank and one for for profit margin cutoff. And depending on you know your your parameters here for for the two, it'll color in the the products that meet both criteria. So basically an end condition here for A and B. And most of this is pretty simple. Um, this is just kind of relatively standard DAX. Sales rank, just a rank X, and then you know, some basic total cost, total profit, profit margin calculations, harvesting the, the values from these sliders. But the, um, the measure that does most of the heavy lifting here is this one. There's a couple of interesting things going on here. So basically, when you're looking at these conditionals, by nature, these are true and false criteria. And what I did here is instead of using true false, I use what's called dummy variables which is a, a construct where if the condition is true, it gets a one, and if it's false, it gets a zero. And this is very common in statistical and regression analysis, but it's, it's got a lot of use in DAX as well. And so you can see here that if sales rank is less than or equal to the sales rank cutoff, it gets a one. If profit margin is greater than the profit margin cutoff, it gets a one, otherwise gets a zero. So that's the first interesting thing. And the reason I did that is for the second thing about this that's a little bit unusual, which is what I did is then multiplied these two variables together, um, the two dummy variables. And then based on that combined, if that combined is greater than zero, I assigned the red color. And if it's not, assigned the blue color. And what we can do here really easily is instead of going to an AND condition, we can go to an OR condition just by putting a plus in here. And if we hit accept, what that'll do is that then changes so that when we look at our criteria, it's either the criteria of being sales rank below the cutoff, so these right here, or product margin above the cutoff being this one here, rather than the AND condition, which has produced these two, these two points here. And the question is, why does this work? And so if we look here, if we look here at the AND condition, so AND implies that both or all, if you have more than two, all of the conditions are true. And that is characterized by multiplication. So in, in multiplication, any false sets the whole term to zero. And we can see that here. So if we've got two variables, one in, you know, A and B, if A is true and B is true, then the product is a one and that's, that gets a true. But if either of these is false, either A equals zero or B equals zero, you get one of these three conditions and it sets the whole term to zero. So that's the intersection. If we look at the AND condition, that then is either or any are true. And instead of multiplication, that gets addition. So no single false sets the whole term to zero, but that any one, any one condition being true increments that condition up by that one. So here we've got A and B are both true the term gets a two, A is false, but B is true, gets a one, 
the reverse gets a 1 also. And it only gets a 0 if both conditions are false. And so you may be wondering kind of why is this, why is this so useful? Why is it unique? Couldn't we just do this with a simple AND condition or an OR condition? And the answer is you could. Um, for these simple cases, it really doesn't really doesn't matter that much. But let's look at a more complex case. So here we've got seven variables. A and B and C are true. And then the combination of either D and E or F and G. And if you were to write this out using and or conditions in DAX, this would be this would be a long, messy measure. But using what we've learned prior in terms of the multiplication for and and the addition for or, it makes it really, really simple. So basically, all you do is just substitute those operators in for the words, and you get that, that formula. And that then becomes the condition that if that's greater than zero, that condition is true. And if it's equal to zero, it's false. And so you can see that for any kind of complex condition, you just sub in those operators and you don't have to worry about writing really complex nested conditionals. And I can go back to the, the Power BI file and show you how this works in practice. So we, we talked about AND, we talked about OR. Let's talk about a, a little more complex case, which is AND OR. So in this case, what I've got is Here's, here's the case where both conditions are true. Here's the, and the purple shows where one condition is true, basically where this first condition on sales rank is true. And then th this up here shows where the second condition on profit margin is true. And so if we look at kind of the use of dummy variables in this one, what you can see is we've got the same, same exact dummy variables here. We've got an OR condition set by plus, and then we've got the switch true construct where if it gets the two, so if both are true, we get the red, and if one is true, we get purple, so either here or here, and if neither are true, we just get the default blue color. So that corresponds really exactly to this matrix here that we talked about in terms of two for both, one for either one, and zero for none. And so if we go back to our last condition, we can also look at what happens if we want to look at two sets of outliers. So basically, if we want to look at A and B, so he, meeting both these conditions up here, or the flip side, where instead of meeting the top 20% and above the profit margin cutoff, we want to look at below, we want to look at the bottom 20% and below the profit margin cutoff. So right here, that in this case, we're looking at sales rank cutoff of one, two, or three at the top end, and the bottom end, it would be 15, 14, uh, 15, 14, 13 um, at the bottom and below the 0.59 cutoff. So this this observation right here. And again, we could, this is you know entirely dynamic. And so if we if we slide that around, we start picking up picking up more points. And if we look at this one, this is exactly what we talked about in the final case where we've now set all four of our criteria to dummy variables. And then we look here at the top rank. So we've got a multiplication for AND. So the top rank in terms of sales rank times the greater than or equal to marginal for profit margin. And the OR condition here. And then the bottom rank, the bottom rank for sales and the bottom rank for, and the bottom for profit margin. So if one or the other of these is true, it returns the red, and if not, it returns the blue. So what you can see here is just by 
using these dummy variables, these one zero variables, instead of the, the text true false, and getting the opportunity to use those arithmetic operators, you can combine those in all sorts of ways that really simplifies the DAX and provides you with some powerful logic. So I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.